to find a break of throw in this set if he wants to level up the world championship final uh, Michael Van Gerwen is a, in any mood to give him a sniff yeah the the combination finishing in this game is going to be key you can tell by the way they're scoring there may be nothing in it they may both be on nines Michael may miss and Michael may hit they're both on nines they're both on a nine this is insane come on now wow the world championship final Michael Van Gerwen is on a nine data in the world final and just misses double 12 over to you Michael Smith one man misses does the other man get I've never seen the like come on Spully boy yeah 2024 uh, look, I, I just believe that this could supersede last year. Or, or would it be this year? I feel year? like we say that every year. Yeah, but it's right, though. The yeah. standard of play uh, that we've seen this year it, in, in all the events, in the match plays, in the Grand Slams and, and the other events, that it just it, it all culminates. It yeah. all builds to this. And now it's all about the Worlds. It starts on the 15th of December. And for those two and a bit weeks, it's going to be absolute darting carnage. <laughs> and it does start now. It really does. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm just so looking forward to it. I really am. We love darting carnage, don't we? We do, uh, we yes. Do. Uh, Wayne mentioned uh, darting superstars. We are surrounded by them today. None bigger than the 16-time world champion, Phil Thank Taylor. You. And we also are joined by a man who won the first ever PDC World Championship title, Dennis Priestley. Thank you so much for joining us. You're here to do the honours today. Phil, just very quickly, I mean, you last competed at the World Championship back in 2018. Coming here to a day like this, you must miss it. I do, I do and I don't. You know, <laughs> yeah. I've got to be honest. I don't be honest with you. I don't miss it because I'm, I'm not match fit anymore. And, you know, to be match fit, you've got to put so much effort in and so much practice and so many hours away and so many days away from home. Yeah. I enjoy being at home now. Yeah. So I don't miss the travelling. I don't miss being in hotels maybe six, seven days a week. Well, we are delighted that you're part of I'm our very, team here today. Honestly, this is one off my bucket list. Ah, it really um, is. Uh, Dennis mentioned that you won the first ever title in the PDC 30 years ago. 30 Does it feel years. like 30 years ago? Yeah, 30 years. And I, I went into it actually not thinking uh, my chances were very good because leading up to it, I hadn't played uh, very good darts. So it was a little bit of a shock. <laughs> Probably more shock than uh, shock to Phil than me. <laughs> Yeah, 30 years it's flown. Yeah, flown by, maybe. But it feels like the sport has changed a lot since then as well. I mean, today we're going to be sort of looking out for the names of the likes of Michael Smith, the defending champion, Michael Van Gerwen, a three-time champion, Gerwin Price, Peter Wright. But also, I suppose, some outsiders and names that maybe people at home aren't, aren't so familiar with. Yeah, that's right. Look, there are so many that, that are capable of winning it. Uh, Joe Cullen, Nathan Aspinall, Chizzy. These are all players that are not on the... the the very, very short list of, of being a world champion the, uh, on, on the lips. But then you've got Luke Littler. You've got Luke, Luke Humphreys uh, behind <laughs> me. Cool hand. He, he can't do anything wrong. Look, the, the likes of, of Luke Littler, who we saw of some sort last evening win the World Youth Crown, is someone in the draw. You don't want, you don't want to mess with him. Yeah. He's unscarred. He, he can just go up there and turn you over and think that this is what I do. 
But what we do know is that those that are seeded, it, it's going to be it's going to be for those. It's going to be getting through, getting through, building on that. And like we quite, that, I thought that was like really intriguing to hear that Dennis didn't feel that that he could he, he was in the best of form to win it. There are going to be players playing for their career at the World Championships. <laughs> there are going to be players playing for just getting through to the final and winning it. Nothing less will do. So once this starts to get underway, it's going to unravel. And the two weeks that, that follow this, it's about building up for the players. Special times. Yes, very special times. Um, it is going to get underway, so you can kind of move out the way. You're just going to okay. take a little seat on the side okay. and have a little look at, at what is going to unfold. Let's just remind you then of when the Worlds do get underway. So make a note in your diary. Also make a note of the time as well. 6.30, because we're going to have a sort of half an hour, 45 minute build up. 6.30 on December the 15th, live for you on Sky Sports Arena. Just very quickly, going to remind you of how this draw works. We've got 96 players. 32 of them are seeded, so they will go basically straight through to the second round. We are doing the draw for the first round and the second round. Sounds very complicated, but we've got it all under control. Yep. It's going to become very clear. Um, a little reminder as well, Dennis, you're going to be pulling out the balls for um, those who have qualified through the Pro Tour Order of Merit. And Phil, you're going to be looking after our international qualifiers. Should we get it started? Yes. Um, right, we're going to start with a draw for Michael Smith then, the reigning world champion who, of course, beat... Michael Van Gerwen in that incredible final last year. He will play either. Dennis, if you want to draw the first ball. Number 14. Number 14, Kevin Dirt, the 25-year-old from the Netherlands who makes his debut, or... 35. 35, Stowe Bunce, the American, also makes his debut, but definitely one to watch after his run to the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam recently. Next up, the number 32 seed, Madders Rasma. He will face either. Number five. Number five, Mike De Decker, the Belgian, making a fourth World Championship appearance, or? 39. 39, Dragutin Horvat, one previous appearance, that was back in 2017. This is the first time he's qualified since then. Next up, we've got Ross Smith, last year's European Championship winner. Number 31. He will face either number 31, Neil Zonneveld, or... 62. 62, Darren Webster, who came through a qualifier today. Next up, we have Chris Dobie, who was, of course, the Masters champion back in January. Number 21. Dobie will face either Willie O'Connor, the Magpie, making a seventh World Championship appearance, or... 49. Number 49, Bav Patel, who came through the Indian qualifier to book his spot at Ali Pali. Next up, we've got the 2018 world champion, Rob Cross. Number eight. He faces either Mario van den Bahada from Belgium, who's here making his debut, or... Number... 58. Number 58, Thibaut Tricol, the first French player to compete at the PDC World Championship. Then we have Jose de Sosa, a former Grand Slam champion. Number 27. He takes on either Richie Edhouse, who's making a fourth appearance at the World Championship, or... 37. 37, Jeffrey de Graaf, making a first appearance since 2019. Next up, the number nine seed, Johnny Clayton, made the quarterfinals last year. Number 20. Takes on either Steve Lennon, didn't qualify last year, so he's back at the Palace, or... 34. 34, Owen Bates, the 20-year-old who came through via the Challenge Tour. Next up, we have got Christoph Ratajski, who's won a title on the Euro Tour this year. Number 30. He will play either number 30, Jamie Hughes, who went out in the first round last year, or... 36. 36, David Cameron, the Canadian who qualified through the CDC Tour. Right, next up, the two-time world champ, Peter Snakebite Wright. Who's he got? Lucky seven. <laughs> Lucky seven. Lucky Jim Williams, a former Lakeside runner-up, of course. Or... 
Number 45. 45. Norman Madu from Guyana making his fourth appearance, but first since 2011. Up next, Raymond Van Barneveld, the five-time world champion. Barney. Mm-hmm. Now, this is what I was frightened of. No. <laughs> You've it is got number it. nine. It is number nine. Radik Sagansky, Graham. who makes his debut. It's definitely number nine. Number 41. Or Marco Cantelli, who hasn't qualified for the last couple of years, so he is back at the Palace. Right, next, James Wade, a four-time semi-finalist at the Worlds. James Wade. <laughs> Number 15. Number 15, Matt Campbell from Canada, making a fifth appearance, or... 40. Lawrence Ilargan, one of Wayne Mardle's favourite players. Yep. Um, up next, we have Andrew Gilding, the UK Open champion this year. Number 23. He will take on either Christian Kiss, the Dutchman, former Lakeside winner. 44. Or 44, Luke Littler, the 16-year-old. Wayne was talking about him a minute ago, crowned world youth champion yesterday, one of the brightest young prospects in the sport. Uh, next up, Gerwin Price, world champion in 2021. Who's he got? He was excellent yesterday, that young fella. was. Yeah, Number six, 16. Connor Scott, the 27-year-old who makes his debut, or... Number 42. 42. Christoph Kachuk, who came through an East Europe qualifier to make it to the Worlds. Next, we head to Brendan Dolan from Northern Ireland, quarter-finalist back in 2019. Number 18. Number 18. Mickey Mansell, who made the second round last year, lost there to Peter Wright. Or 60. 60. Zhao Chen Zong, who retained his China Premier League title this year to book his spot at Ali Pali. Now we have Dirk van Dijven Boda, the Dutchman, who's won three ranking titles this year. Double 16. 32. <laughs> 32. Keegan Brown, quarter finalist at the World Series finals earlier this year. Or. Number 63. Number 63, Boris Kritschmeyer, who uh, has come through a qualifier today and actually now the 1-2-4 checkout in a last leg to book his spot here. Then we have the two-time world champ, Gary Anderson, won back-to-back -back titles, of course, in 2015 and 2016. He faces either... Unlucky for some, 13. <laughs> Simon Whitlock, runner-up in 2010. Lost to you, Phil, in the final. He did. Number 47. Or number 47, Paolo Nabrida from the Philippines, who is here via the Asian tour. Michael Van Gerwen, the three-time world champion, his last title coming back in 2019. He will face either... One dozen, 12. Keen Barry, the 21-year-old from Ireland. Or... Good game, that. 52. 52, Reynaldo Rivera, who qualified via the Asian Tour. Next up, Kim Hybrex, quarter-finalist on his debut back in 2012. He plays either. Number 10. <laughs> Richard Veenstra from the Netherlands, who makes his Ali Pali debut. Or? 53. 53, Ben Robb, making a fourth appearance at the Worlds. Next up, we're going to take a look at Dimitri Vandenberg, made it to the semi-finals last year, of course, lost to Michael Van Gerwen there. 19. 19. Dylan Slevin, the 21-year-old from Tipperary. Number 61. Or number 61, Florian Hempel, who today came through a qualifier to book his spot at Ali Pali. Next up, Stephen Bunting, the former Lakeside champion. Number three. Number three, Ryan Joyce, who was a quarter finalist on his first appearance in 2019. 56. Or number 56, Alex Spellman from North Carolina, who was the top ranked player on the CDC tour. 
Next up, Danny Nopper, the UK Open champion from last year. 22. He will face either Scott Williams, who made his debut last year, so back at Ali Pali again, or... Number 46. Number 46, Haruki Muramatsu, the Asian champion. Of course, we saw him on Sky Sports at the recent Grand Slam. Now, Martin Schindler, who made the semi-finals of the World Cup earlier this year for Germany. Number 28. He plays either Jermaine Watamina from the Netherlands, who's making a 10th appearance at the World, or... Number 54. Fallon Sherrick, Queen of the Palace, who, of course, made history four years ago beating Ted, Ted Everts, and not just him, but Mencia Sulevich as well. Uh, next up, we've got Damon Hetter, Australia's number one. 17. Who will face either Martin Lukeman, who made his debut last year, so is returning to Alexandra Palace, or... Five and one, 51. <laughs> Hopai Puha from New Zealand, who won the Oceanic Masters to book his spot here. And now we have Josh Rock, the 23 seed. Hype, hyped up loads last year, but maybe he's actually in a better place this time around. He faces either... Number four. Emma. Number four, Luke Woodhouse. Quarter finalist at the Players' Championship finals just over the weekend, just gone. Number 59. Or number 59, Barry Van Peer, who makes his World Championship debut. And now we've got the draw for Luke Humphreys, who, if you don't know him already, you should do, because he's won three big TV titles in the space of just seven weeks. The World Grand Prix, the Grand Slam, number and the 26. Players' Championship Finals. Number 26, Lee Evans, who's making his debut. 55. Or number 55, Sandro Eric Sosing, who was runner-up at the Asian Championship. Now to Callan Rids, who made the quarterfinals a couple of years ago, lost to Peter Wright in the end. It's there, Kelly's eye, number one. Against Ricardo Petrechko, a player known as Pikachu. <laughs> or? Number five and seven. 57, Mikuru Suzuki, the two-time women's world champion who has played at Ali Pali once before, so making her return. Next up, we have Joe Cullen, Masters champion last year. Oh, fellow Yorkshireman, let me get him a good draw. <laughs> number 29. Up against 29, Jules Van Dongen, who has competed at the WDF Worlds, not the PDC World Championship, or... 5-0, Bullseye. Darren Pennell, who is here through the DPA Tour. Right, five players remaining, guys. You've got Ryan Searle, if you, well, you might have seen it, hit a nine darter to win a match at the recent Grand Slam. And it's here, number six. Against number six, Ian White, who didn't qualify last year, so makes his World Championship return. 38. <laughs> or number 38, Tomoya Goto, the 27-year-old from Japan, who is here via the Asian Tour. Next up, we've got Daryl Gurney, a two-time quarter finalist at the Worlds. Oh, very little left now, Emma. I know. Number 24. It's number 24, Ricky Evans, who will no doubt have a really fun walk-on for us to watch. <laughs> number 33. Oh, actually, sorry, that was Nathan Aspinall, the number six seed. So he will be in that match that we were just talking about there. All will play number 33, which is Simon Adams. That wasn't Daryl Gurney, just to confirm. That was Nathan Aspinall, the world match play champion. So let's do Daryl Gurney now, two-time quarter finalist. You're allowed one mistake. You're okay. I'll blame you for that, Dennis. Legs 11. Number 11. Number 11, Steve Beaton, who's making a 33rd consecutive World Championship appearance. That's across the BDO and the PDC. Number 48. Number 48, Vessel Nyman, who came through the development tour. He makes his debut. Next up, we've got Dave Chisnell, semi-finalist back in 2021. Only two left. Number 25. Number 25, Cameron Menzies, a semi-finalist at the WDF Worlds. Number 64. Number 64, Rusty Jake Rodriguez, who came through a qualifier today. Good draw. And then you should both have one ball left each. We've got Gabriel Clemens, the German giant, who oh, made it to the semi-finals last I'm, I'm, I've year. I've seen. Uh, 
And it's number two. Number two, Jan van Veen, the 21 year old Dutchman. Or number 43, Man Lok Lung, who is here via the Asian tour. Well done, guys. You've both, Thank you. yeah, we're all out of balls, aren't we? Yeah, okay, good. Just one small mistake. Let's just run you through um, some of those ties then. Um, we, of course, got the four different quarters to show you. So we're just going to get some of those ready now. Um, but how was that experience? It was great. Good yeah, fun. Good fun. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, said yeah. it was ticking something off your bucket list. I hope the players don't uh, blame you. No, it's nothing to do these. with you, Phil. Don't worry about that. No. Um, right, let's just show you some of those fixtures then, because they happen so fast, it's what hard to remember. Them, it's hard to remember the big names, but we're going to get Wayne Mardle's um, reaction now. And I think when we're looking at the first quarter, um, our eyes are on Michael Smith, who's, who's going to be playing on that opening night on Friday the 15th, but potentially could face Stowe Bunce. We saw what he, he did at the Grand Slam recently. Yeah, I was standing near Michael when the uh, draw was was being poured out and it it was a little nervy I will say that yeah. but look it, I think it's a decent enough draw for him we know what Stowe Bunce has been doing on the TV but Kevin Dotes has actually been playing some of the best darts of his life so Michael Smith will have to be on his on his game but we know if he's on his game what happens uh Carnage in Susie, it's nine darts and wins world title. <laughs> That's what he does. Uh, let's just show you the second page then. So same half of the draw, but the second quarter of the draw. Um, all eyes on Peter Wright, who by his own kind of standards hasn't had the most amazing season. You've got Gary Anderson, who could face Simon Whitlock in the second round. Yeah, th there's a few in there. Uh, even uh, get a win price with Connor Scott and Christoph Chup. Two very, very good players. Uh, and when you look at Dirk van Dijvenbode, we know he's been struggling. So Keegan Brown and Boris Kratchmar, they'll be fencing their chances as well. And as for Gary Anderson and Whitlock, it's like 2015 all over again. <laughs> but Gary Anderson these days, I mean, he's an outsider, but he's been, been playing so well. He's an outsider towards kind of, if you look the very, very top end, but people know, the players know, his contemporaries know that he's a possible winner. Right, let's show you the next half of the draw then. This is the third quarter. And, I mean, the, the standout name there is Michael Van Gerwen. Yeah, I think he'll like that draw. I really do. But there's some there's some real dodgy ones. Like Ben Robb from New Zealand, he's an excellent player. And Richard Veenstra threw some brilliant darts at the very recent Players' Championships. Kim Ibrex, going to have to be on his game. Danny Nopper against Scott Williams or Aruki Muramatsu. And then you look at Martin Schindler versus Jermaine Watamina or Fallon Sherrick. Do you know what? There's a lot there that could go either way. Right, let's just remind you of the final quarter then. It's hard, I mean, you're already looking at some of them, you're thinking, this is hard to call. Um, Luke Humphreys is kind of the man of the moment right now, and, yes. and rightly so because of what he's been doing, um, up against either Lee Evans or Sandro Eric Sosing. I mean, you look at that and say he'll probably be, be quite happy with that draw. Yeah, Lee Evans and Sosing, they've had a mare. <laughs> <laughs> they've had a proper mare. They've had an absolute mare. But when you, you just look down again, uh, Ricky Evans, he, he must fancy his chances against Simon Adams and then have a crack at, at high seed, Nathan Aspinall. And the thing is, if you if you beat a high seed, you take their seeding. So straight away, your your draw can become pretty favourable. That's why when, you, when a top seed gets beat, it's like, wow, right, we've all got chances now. But yeah, it's an intriguing, uh, intriguing draw. 20 seconds to tell us who your favourite is. Look, I... I've been right in selecting Luke Humphries for the last couple of months. I'm, I'm not going to jump ship now, but I, I like I like either Gary Anderson or Gedwin Price coming from that particular part of the draw as well. But it, it all depends who goes bang, as we say. If Michael Smith goes bang again, he wins. Michael Van Gerwen. But <laughs> I said 20 me, seconds. For, yeah, <laughs> but for me, it's all about Luke Humphries. Okay, uh, make sure you come and join us. You can see 15th of December for three dazzling weeks of darts. We'll see you then. He was born to be a world champion. The feelings take control. Michael Van Gerwen stands on top of the world of darts. Did you expect anything less? We're into the big time now. Everyone's having fun. Seen the like. Come on, bully boy. Double 12. That is the most amazing leg of dance you will ever see in your 